Hi guys, how are you doing? Guillaume here, and I'm here with Glenn Fricker. Hey, how's it going, Guillaume? I'm good, you? Not too bad. Tired, a little jet lag, but otherwise doing, doing all right. So how things go, we're doing TGU19 here, and I'm going to take Glenn shopping for bases, and ba like bass rig. Sure, absolutely, yeah. Figure, bass guitar, amp, maybe a pedal or two. We'll see what we, we've got kicking around. Sure. See, we'll see what, what could work well, and hopefully we'll be able to do something for a decent price. All right, all right, let's, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can start with. So we're just taking a look at a couple things. Like you guys obviously have a gigantic selection of bases here. Uh, well, I mean, like, wow, you got Yamahas, you got Schecters. The Schecter stuff's real. Oh, 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 hang on, my bad. Those are LTDs. Great, the Schecter guys are gonna be super <laughs> pissed at me for that one. But seriously, <laughs> yeah. Hey, what the fuck, Glenn? <laughs> seriously though, the the LTD stuff's great. I mean, oh yeah, LTD fire string. That's just you know satin neck, just beautiful action. What's that? Bridge for six twenty nine. Yeah, I, I think that's a little pricey for for what I'm thinking of. Okay, are you? Um, what are you thinking of? Like, are you going jet? Like, I want to go going under five hundred euros if okay. possible for, on a base. You know, find something you know affordable. You know, for whoever's out there. I mean, like, come on, we're talking like home recording. Yeah. Type type setup, that kind of thing. So my question is, do you have any? Uh, Fender Jazz is Mexican because we want something really versatile. And in my experience, anyway, in the studio. Uh, our Fender Jazz is going to sound great on everything from like metal to, to rock to that's why it's ever, uh, easy yeah. listening to just about just about anything you can uh, want. Let's walk over do there. We have any, do yeah. we have any Mexican ones? Yeah, absolutely. Right. 700 euros yeah. for a Mexican Jazz? Yeah. That's a little pricey. Yeah. Okay, maybe not the jet, maybe not the Mexican Jazz though. Uh, let's uh, let's see. What, okay. Let's see what we got for Harley buttons. Okay. 129 euros. Let's see what we got here. Actually, yeah, it's not how bad. It's a little light on the body. Okay. I don't know if I'd want that or not, because you're going to want some girth there. Uh, what do we got? Do you want to go full or five strings? Just four. Full? Let's, not, let's not confuse the bass players. <laughs> there we go. That's got some beef to it. Let's check that out. That's 139 euros. That's actually got some, some weight. I mean, the thing to remember is mass equals tone. So the more your strings have to push off from, probably the, the more sustain you're going to get at the very minimum. And as long as the pickups aren't noisy, we should be in good shape. You know what All I mean? Right. As long as they don't pick up a lot of RF, this should be OK. So let's, let's, go, with, let's <laughs> go with this one. You know, for 129 euros, that's going to translate to about 150 US, which is you know, not too bad. And remember, you can get stuff shipped to the States really cheap. True. Anything under, what, that. 30 kilos or 50 kilos or something like that. I think, oh, I think it's 30 kilos or 60 kilos or something like that, and you get it for 50 bucks to yeah. ship to the U.S. So you're talking maybe $200 U.S. to get this into the States. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, let's uh, try to find a base amp. Let's see what we come up with. Do you want me to hold that? Sure. Go and get the amps. Let's see, like, a little of this. I mean, if you're recording at home, and you want to go through a cab, that's great. I'd probably say grab something like this or, oh wow, here's a, even a tinier one. Let's take a look at this. What is this? What's the damage on this? Uh, which one is it? The TC Electronic, just the little guy. We are going at 130 bucks. Oh wow, there we go. Now, I'm not a big fan of one by tens for bass, so what I'm gonna say is let's try Oh, hang on, hold the, shut the <laughs> front door. I got a good idea, yeah. How about this combo here? Cause this, this you know, might, might actually do the trick. Cause you got, a, you, got a, you got a bass driver, you got a horn, you got your amp, the whole deal. And it's not really actually that, all that heavy. Okay. Can we get a price on that? Can you give me the number? Uh, do I look the... like a fucking employee of Tolman? <coughs> <coughs> we are going at, 830 euros. Okay, maybe not. Okay, let's go back to that other one and see what we can find for cabs then. Does Harley Benton make a bass cab? I think so. Yes, oh, there. There you go. What, what are we looking at? Sorry? Th that's the Harley Benton bass cab. Oh, really? These, these are just cabs, yeah. So wow, we've got what's full 10. Well, what's the 410 go for? Let's see what that's all about. All uh, right. 215. Okay, let's do it. Wait. 
All right, so I was just monkeying around and thought, hey, I got a good idea. Let's get somebody who can actually play bass. So from the Adam Neely show, hey, it's Adam Neely. Super cool, man. So just cut the part out where he calls it dump. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, Adam, thank you very yeah, much for that, man. I really yeah. appreciate it. We just needed somebody who could just so jump in for a sec. Yeah, of course. All right. Go nuts. Thank appreciate you. it, man. Thank you. All right. All right. So if someone walks into your studio with that. Yeah, I'd be totally fine with that. Okay. Exactly. I mean, like, you know, I'd be like, yeah, sure. It does not have to be super high end. I mean, one of my absolute favorite bass guitars to record is I've got a used Fender Mexican Jazz, which yeah. I picked up for 200 Canadian dollars. And it was in terrible cool. shape, and I just cleaned it up and set the neck up right now. It gets, uh, winds be, winds up being recorded more than any of my other basses. Yeah. It doesn't have to be expensive to be good. It, it just has to sound good and stay in tune. And like I said, this is actually, you know, it's got quite a bit of mass. And it's got the sustain to go with it. That's yeah. my point. Yeah. Yeah, so why not? I mean, like, we could mic that up and take a direct off the amp and we'd be good to go. So, yeah, absolutely. You don't have to break the bank to get a decent bass guitar or a great bass tone in the studio. You just have to pay attention to what you're getting your hands on. That's all. Wise words. All right. Thank you so much, man. Thanks, thank Guillaume. Thank you for ta taking the time. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I've been Guillaume with Glenn Fricker at Terman. See you soon. <laughs>